Hello there everyone and it is the final week. We are there, the finals. So if you're in painting one, by now you'll have submitted a self-portrait, a essay about Frida Kahlo, a quiz about colour and colour perception, a quiz about art history based on that painting the Garden of Earthly Delights and your second painting which is one that's come from your own imagination personal to you and if you're in painting two you will have submitted over all these weeks the different drawings of the parts of the anatomy of the skeleton and then you're free after you completed that in painting two and you will have done your painting or drawing that is personal to you. So that's both the different classes. I'm combining you all in one today because this is the finals. So uh, at this point, submit everything you can and I'll be grading you once they open up the gradings of the system. And uh, I'm just going to look at some of the mail art. But of course, what's happened since uh, I talked to you doesn't seem very long that the Omicron uh, variety of the virus has appeared. So it's spreading very contagiously and quickly all over Europe just now. And uh, there is absolutely no doubt at all the same will happen in New York. And uh, sadly, it's particularly hitting young people. So uh, my classes next semester, for those of you who are in painting one are online and that's painting two so you can enroll in that and be safe and enjoy the same sort of class and you've already got the art materials so that's vpa122 and that's me now i sent away for since this is a really good mask and big mask to protect me from the omicron and this is what arrived um on you know and at the door so Let's just open this thing up. Oh boy, it's tight. So let me see this first of all. What the heck is it? Well, it's certainly a big mask. Holy magoli. I mean, can you see the size of that? I mean, that's built for the elephant man. I mean, that's a huge thing. You can put your whole head in it. That's the ultimate <laughs> Jeez. The ultimate mask. Is this the right way around? There it is. Yeah, it's a real one. There's the writing on it. Stop COVID-19, COVID quarantine and social distancing. Pegs. So there's one heck of a mask. Eh? Look at that. I mean, even, even my big head, that's kind of too big. <laughs> you ever seen anything like that? That's what you call a whopper. I mean, you got to be... Uh... I mean, I know some people say I'm big-headed, but my God, you know? <laughs> okay, what a mask. So I'm well-equipped. <laughs> you see, if you see Mask Head, the new superhero, walking towards you, here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well, that's a good one. What can you do? Anyway, I'll tell you what I've been doing since I saw you last. I've been doing quick paintings on my sketch pad. And I used this stuff. They had a sale in an art store of this really expensive stuff. It's made in Italy. It's powder that, you know, it's pure powder pigment that they mix to create paint. You can make watercolor or oil paint with this if you mix something different with it. And look at the beautiful reds. Is it brown? I got a whole lot of them and they're big jars, solid glass. So I was painting this face of this person with it, uh, just with water and the powder. I didn't use anything. So I don't even know if what I'm doing is right. I did this. That's the one I'm doing just now, which is just this little face thing here. And I'll probably make up things. You know, I just wanted to experiment. I'm just doing these things at my head. And this is all in the last 10 days. I did this one first of all, which was kind of messy. 
he's like a Cossack, you know, in Russia. There he is. But I did this really quick. I did that in about an hour, and he's just strolling along. After that one, the next day I did this one in a day. This is, I call this one Siegfried. That's using that same powder pigment, and that's really quick as well. And the weeks before that, I was doing this drawing, and I think I told you about it. I used um, silver, not pencil, but silver, silver point. And that is a old kind of medium, and it gives this patina to the drawing. Can you see it? It's different from pencil, that's all I can say. So that's what I've been up to. So, you know, I'm seeing your work coming in online, and I also have some physical work here, which I'll just look at just now, which is in the envelope. I mean, I, I've waited until as many of them come in as possible. So let's see who we've got. Yeah. I'll just hold them up. That's, that's about it so far. So this is a pair of scissors. By, that's a nice one there by Desiree. Perfect. Nice, nice, nicely done. And uh, I like the way that the uh, pencil has, the pen has gone. This one is, I think it's a hair clip by Kiana. Hair clip, yeah? Looks like it. Nice one, good. And here's a bonsai tree. This one is by Hugh. And if I mispronounce your name, forgive me. H-U-Y. And that's a nice bonsai tree. Here's a really good one. This is a... Uh, I'm not sure. ZND. That's your initials on it. So that one is a panda. And I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure what it is. If it's like a bottle cover or a flask. But that's a really nice one. Here's another one that's really cleverly done with uh, lots of different things going on there. It's a ball of thread, a, a roll of thread. This one is done by uh, Justine. And it's like a little painting. And she's got the shadow at the back there as well. That's a really beautiful one. I love that. Very clever. And it's a, it's a kind of composition within a composition. Here's another good one. Here's Darian, and that's a lovely kind of vase with these stalks coming out of it. Another beautiful composition. You can see that uh, all the shadowing has been done there. Here's a mobile phone, Motorola, and that's been done by Tracy. And that's a nice one. Maybe that's her phone. Okay. Here somebody must have done this in the summer. That's a fan. Won't be using that today. It's windy outside. Kayla. That's another another good one. And here is a Tory. And that's a uh, cup. A cup with a couple of slices of lemon in it. A, a glass of water. Nice, nice drawing. Beautiful. Oh, here's a beautiful one, very delicate, and this is by Lindsay, and that is her, must be her pet, Budgie. Look how delicate and beautifully that is drawn. I mean, some of these things are, I mean, he's even whistling his tune. Some of these little postcards, I tell you, you could frame them. Here's somebody else who's done a fan, but uh, they did not sign the drawing, so I wonder who did that unsigned. It's always a good idea to sign these things when you send them back to me because you can see I've got a lot of them here. Here's William and that looks like some bowl here and he's done the shadow, very bold. Bold bowl shadow. Lovely work, William. Here's a real simple one. Uh, 
and it also is uh, not been signed by the student, so we don't know who did it. A very simple mug waiting for his coffee, but we don't know who did it. Here's S. Boyer, that's a nice one. That's a great one, in fact, I love that, the light bulb. Great idea, fantastic. And here's an apple with, uh, oh, it's got a, like a, it's got a uh, hole right through it by Dul Dulce there, one, Dulce Luna. Beautiful drawing. Can you see that? And here is uh, somebody who's done their entire, um, I don't know, bedroom cabinet or something here with a clock, nice lamp and the flowers. And that's by... Uh, Who's that one by? Oh, Donnelly, Donnelly, sorry, I couldn't see. It's a very small signature. That's Donnelly's drawing, beautiful. Here's a wild one. This is by Cherry. That looks like a kind of, I don't know, it's a little plant or something growing there. It's got all sort of, it's gone very fuzzy and wild. Nice. Here's somebody who's done the big apple, all colored in there. I think it's that way up, or is it a tomato? The Big Tomato, as you say in America. That one is by Johan. Johan. There we are. Nice, nice work. A painting, which is more than I asked for. Just a drawing. Uh, Juliana Guterres. That's another beautiful flower there. Maybe it's growing in her house or in the garden. We don't know. And here's uh, Alethea. That's another nice one, a plant pot, just very simply done with those, who knows what these are growing. And uh, Raymond Staples pencil, just there you are. That's all you needed to do. Good work, Raymond. And here is, uh, I don't know what that is, that's by uh, Leslie Filippi. That's like a hand moisturizer or something. Something that's sitting on the bathroom cabinet. Who's this one by? This is by Lamp by DC. So that's you, DC. Of course, I'm not, I'm not really remembering initials, so it's always best to sign with your actual name, but there you are, DC. Here's another one. This is Catherine. This is a beauty. She's uh, drawn the uh, tubes of paint that came with your special supplies. Beautifully drawn. And that's all you need to do. No need to scratch your mind into uh, TJ. That's a good one. Just a cup. Simple. Here's one that got a little bit damaged in the post. That's by uh, Yvonne Monstrera plant. Look at that thing. A lot of people did plant pots, so you must have good plants growing in your houses. Can't quite make out the signature on that one, but this is a really beautiful drawing. I mean, this is one of the most accomplished drawings of anybody's. I mean, look at that. I think it's Talicia, and it's... Uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm actually. I'm, uh, maybe you could email me and let me know. <laughs> Or text me and let me know who did that one. It's a beauty, but I cannot just decipher the signature. But that is definitely one of the best plants. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely, you could frame that one. And uh, yo, this one is another one. This is Anya Edwards, and that looks like a banana and a cup of coffee. So maybe that's a breakfast. <laughs> okay, nice one. Lewis and I think I'm not sure what that is. It could it be a fan or a heater or something? Oh no, Sundance figurine from Destiny 2. So some of you might know what uh, that is. Destiny 2, presumably some sort of I don't know, video game or cartoon or something. I don't know. So it's good. That's what it, that's that's what it likes. Here's another, whoa, yes, now look at this one. 
Well, that's up there with that other plant pot. I mean, there, there's two beauties here. This is also one that's just exquisitely done. I mean, look at that. That could be framed very easily. That's Ashley. So these are two beauties here. Look at that. They're almost, you know, <laughs> they're almost like part of the same family. Beautifully done, those two. Um, so uh, fantastic work. And here's one that came in, not on my card, but on a piece of paper. Storm. She must have lost the card I sent her and she drew this. There you are. So that's all of those so far. And uh, who knows, there may, there may still be some coming. But uh, thank you very much for putting all those back to me. That was... Uh, a nice project and so I can have you know see some of these things that you've done so just submit everything and uh, let me know how you are and uh, let um, you know be safe c take care during these next uh, months and um, keep in touch of course you know always I'm always uh, a text or an email or a phone call away and uh, let me know how you are and what you're going on to if you're graduating and going on to things. I know quite a few of you are. Uh, let me know how you get on. And uh, those students who are in the painting one, if you are uh, interested in following up on this and it's a nice, easy, you know, gentle course, you can do painting two. It goes under the name of VPA122. It's online and it's spring 2022. So if you're in painting one and you've done this and you quite liked it, it's sensible to do the next one and it should be an easy, good grade for you. So think about that, you know, over the um, next uh, couple of weeks or so because it fill, it's filling up. I mean, it's nearly uh, half full already. So, you know, get in as soon as possible before they start running in. I'd like to get students who I've taught painting one in that class because they know more about painting. I get students who other teachers have taught and they basically are not so um, up on it. So that's it for now. I will be grading over the next week and um, send in your stuff and uh, that's it. I, 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 you know I uh, care for all of you, you know, and I, I mean it. I, I'm, uh, I'm honest, you know, really uh, always there for you guys. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.